Ugh, adult life. Look at them retainers. Honestly, I don't know why people don't wear their retainers. I am not trying to have braces again. Oh God, okay. Mm. <laughs> Too expensive, not this girl. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Melly Mel the Muse. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you my summer skincare routine. I must be doing something right because I've noticed lately I've been getting more comments from coworkers or from friends and family stating how they like the way that my skin looks, that my skin looks good, it looks healthy, that it looks clear, it looks moisturized and hydrated. As many of you know, I don't wear foundation and I typically don't wear makeup. I'll put on a little bit of something something when I'm filming and actually today I'm not wearing any makeup nor am I using any lighting. Usually I have like a ring light on but right now I'm just in my living room and I'm just filming with my natural daylight because I wanted you to see. Hopefully you can see. I don't know if there's enough sunlight but I want you to see how my skin looks right after I've done my skincare routine. Oh yeah, also in the description box, I'm going to provide a link to a previous video that I did that discussed sort of the basics of the 10 step Korean skincare routine. I used that as like a foundation when it came to me coming up with my own skincare routine. Believe me, my skin wasn't always this nice. At least I think it's pretty nice right now, but it wasn't always this nice. It wasn't always this under control, this well behaved. If you know what I mean, because I mean skin, especially if you're not treating it right, it's just like hair. It will act out it, it, and even till this day I'll have blemishes that'll pop up every once in a while I don't know if it's because maybe I ate something that's another thing I've been changing up my diet and what I eat because I do feel that it affects everything like your overall health including your skin but like I said when I would have blemishes I wouldn't know if it was because of what I was eating or you know just not proper skin care maybe not drinking enough water although I always drink a lot of water. For the most part my skin has been very it's been pretty clear I haven't had knock on wood I haven't had any blemishes in a while so whatever it is that I'm doing is working well especially considering it's the summertime. Um, this, the, my skincare routine kind of varies depending on the seasons, especially since I do live in Chicago. The winters are very, very challenging here for skin and for hair. Um, so I do change up my routine when it comes to those months, but I'll cover all those details in another video when it is you know fall going into winter so that you have an idea of what it is that I do during the colder months because during the colder months my issue is keeping my skin hydrated and moisturized because the cold air this it's I mean the winter the wind especially the way it just it's almost like it just I'm not only does it just take the air out of your chest it it feels like it just strips my face sometimes as well as my hair so I do switch up my routine for the winter in order to sort of hydrate my skin even more, provide more of a seal or protective barrier on my skin to kind of prevent all that good nourishment that I put on it from just disappearing into the sky. But like I said, that'll be in another video that I'll do in a few months from now once it starts getting cold again. Not looking forward to that at all. In the summertime, I tend to focus on a routine that I think won't make me prone to breakouts. I have combination skin. Right here is where I tend to get breakouts. Every now and again, I'll get a breakout on my forehead, but that's not very common. Um, I used to get them down here on my chin, but that's not too common anymore. Now it seems like when I get breakouts, it's 
mostly focus here. And then the next spot would be my chin, and then after that would be maybe some places on my forehead. With that said, it's time to get into this skincare routine. Here I'm basically showing you the current state of affairs. On the side of my cheeks, you can see areas of hyperpigmentation. Those are places where I previously had breakouts, acne, blemishes, but they've been fading over time. Same thing with my forehead. You can't really see it that well right there, but there was hyperpigmentation from a previous breakout. And on my chin, I do have a bit of milia. It's like these bumps that are below the surface, and that takes a long, long time and a very dedicated skincare routine for it to go away. It's improved a lot, but it's still not 100%. Here I'm showing you one of my favorite lip scrubs. It's the Sugar Lip Polish by Fresh. It's more grainy and the grains themselves are more fine. I feel like I can like really get in there and get a really good physical exfoliation. I'll probably do it maybe a couple of times a week. It really depends on how my lips feel, if whether or not I think I need it. Here I'm showing you my oil-based cleanser. It's Clean It Zero. The green bottle one contains resveratrol, and resveratrol carry antioxidant and anti-aging properties. I don't use it very often. As a matter of fact, I'm not using it in this video because surprise, surprise, I wasn't wearing any makeup. Moving on to the water-based cleansers. This summer, I've been using two in particular. I've been using the Ultra Facial Cleanser by Kiehl's, as well as the Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Age Prevention Cleanser by Youth to the People. I'll use the Kiehl's Cleanser on those days when I felt like for some reason my skin was extra oily because it does provide more of a lather. The Youth to the People Cleanser, it's a lot gentler. That's why I prefer to use it on most days. I love using the Clarisonic. The way that I use it though is not according to the directions. I personally like to start at my chin and then work my way up. And the reason why I like to do that is because when it comes to blemishes and breakouts and things of that nature, my problem areas tend to be more so my chin and my cheeks not so much my forehead and if you use a clarisonic then you know it has a timer four phases and the first two phases are a lot longer than the last two phases so i'd rather spend more time in my problem areas than in my areas that aren't so much of an issue if you know what i mean After I'm done rinsing off my face, I like to pat it dry with a piece of paper towel instead of using like a rag or something like that because I don't want any bacteria that could be harboring itself in the rag to be transferred to my freshly cleansed face. After I cleanse, I'll follow up with a toner. And I really like the Shiseido wipes because they don't leave as much fuzz behind like regular cotton wipes do or cotton balls do. I've been really loving this Rosemary Toner by Aromatica. I like how it's basically an all natural, slightly acidic toner. And I like that it's alcohol free. After I tone, I usually follow up with a chemical exfoliant. Because it is the summer, my chemical exfoliant of choice is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid. And the only BHA out there is salicylic acid. And uh, salicylic acid, especially at the 2% level, helps with blemishes, acne, it unclogs your pores. That's why I use this more heavily during the more humid summer months versus in the winter.
I have two AHAs that I like using. The Pixie Glow Tonic, which is a 5% glycolic acid. And I also like using the Lotion P50 1970 by Biologic. During the summer, I'll use like an AHA like once or twice a week. And then the majority of time, I'll stick to the BHA. Next, I follow up with my essence. I use the May Coop Raw Sauce, um, learned about through Stephanie Nicole. I actually have a video review for this product that I filmed months ago that I just recently up uploaded, like maybe last week, so I mean, it's a little late. It definitely helps hydrate my skin, which was the main reason I got it in the first place. Next is one of the newest additions to my skincare regimen. I've been using this for a couple of months now and it's a Korean brand and it's hyaluronic acid. I was basically looking for a way to step up my game when it came to hydrating my skin and hyaluronic acid is known, even though it's an acid, it's known for hydrating your skin, giving it that nice, plump, dewy, youthful, Look, this was recommended by Stephanie Nicole. She gives very honest and detailed reviews. Once you apply it to your skin, you pat it in, your skin feels nice and plump and juicy afterwards. It's amazing. So after that, I would follow up with a facial mask. Now mind you, I don't do this all the time. This is something that I do more often in the winter months. After that, I follow up with the C Firma Day Serum by Drunk Elephant. Vitamin C for your skin does wonders. It's an antioxidant. It helps when it comes to the aging of your skin, especially aging due to sun damage. And it also helps brighten your skin. Like it helps your skin glow and people have noticed that about my skin. And the thing about Drunken Elephant that I like about this vitamin C serum is the packaging. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. It will react to oxygen. So if it's not in an airtight container, it's going to lose its potency because it's reacting to the air that it's exposed to. The moisturizer that I tend to use the most during the summer is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. It's not as thick and creamy as the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I'll use it by itself or I'll use it with the Fresh Sea Berry Moisturizing Oil, which is a trick I learned from Stephanie Nicole. I forgot to show it, but I actually usually put on an eye cream. The eye cream that I've been loving lately was actually a deluxe sample that I got from Sephora. It's by Fresh and it's the Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. Next, I like to moisturize my lips. I believe this is something that was recommended by Stephanie Nicole. I purchase it from the Yes Style website, which is usually cheaper than what they're selling it for in Sephora, just FYI. And the Yes Style website has sales on Korean beauty like all the time. So you end up getting a good deal on a lot of things. This lip mask is amazing. It literally saved my lips this past winter. I was going through really severe chapped lips and I tried so many products to help keep my lips hydrated and moisturized and nothing did the trick like this did. Last and certainly not least are your sunscreens, your SPS. These two physical sunscreens I like using, they do have a slight cast to them, I'm not gonna lie, but compared to other physical sunscreens on a melanin skin, these aren't bad, they're not greasy, they're not heavy. My issue with the Cover FX is that you'll get almost halfway through the bottle and then the pump will stop working. I kind of feel gypped, you know? So I kind of don't really feel inclined to purchase another bottle if the pump is always going to do that. I want to use all the product, but anyways, that's just me ranting. Since I was staying inside the house today, I didn't bother with applying an SPF, but for sure, if you're gonna be outside, put on an SPF. Don't play around. So yeah, this is it. This is my face, bare-faced for the whole world to see. This is how I am 
usually day in and day out unless you know like I said I want to spruce things up and enhance some of the natural I guess natural beauty that I was given you know so then I'll enhance certain things like I'll put on a little blush or some eyeliner color in my eyebrows a little bit because there are a bit thin which is fine but usually I like them to be a little bit darker so you can see them but anyway like I said, I've gotten a lot of comments and questions from coworkers and friends and family about what it is that I've been using. And I'll tell them and then they'll ask more questions about, oh, when do you use it and X, Y, and Z, where did you get these things? So I'm going to be providing a list of the products that you see in this video in the description box below as well as give you an idea of where I purchased the products. Um, a lot of them I've gotten from Sephora, but Sephora is not the only place that I get my skincare products from. So as I went through the skincare routine, you saw that there were some products that I stated I didn't really use too often. I only used every now and again, especially during the summer. But during the colder months, the drier months, I will use those products more often because that's when my skin really 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 needs it my skin doesn't necessarily need it as much during the warmer humid summer months well that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it enjoy the content and i hope it did provide you with some information something that can help you figure out your own summer skincare routine they're doing construction outside don't mind them don't mind them but anyways, to help you figure out your own summer skincare routine. And if you found any part of this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with others who you think may benefit from the information I provided. For those of you who are already subscribed and a part of my community of muses, thank you again for stopping by. And for those of you who aren't subscribed, but you like the content that I produce, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's right there, right there underneath the video. And then while you're at it, you might as well just tap that bell. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your summer and I will be seeing you in my next upload. Bye.